Uh, Biden hasn't been in office two days yet, and he's already joining the swamp. Uh, many of Pumpkin Tits' most notorious appointees, including his cabinet secretaries, resigned shortly before Joe Biden took office. But the um, but the officials that one Pumpkin Tits installed in the executive branch remained in spite of their antagonism toward the new squad, um, the new president's agenda. Hours into his pre presidency, Biden has already ousted three of his predecessors' most unqualified and corrupt appointees. This this clean break sends a clear message that Biden will not tolerate any hostile pumpkin tit holdovers in his administration, including those with time remaining in their terms. Um, first, Biden terminated uh, Michael Pack, who was confirmed to head the U.S. agency for global media back in June. Pack sought to transform the agency, which oversees the international broadcaster Voice um, of America, into a propaganda outlet for pumpkin tits despite a statutory mandate that prohibits such political interference. He purged the staff of the VOA and its sister network. Um, and replaced them with pumpkin tit loyalists and, demand, um, and demanded pro-pumpkin tit coverage and unconstitutionally punished remaining journalists who did actual reporting on the administration. In a, pers in a perverse move, he refused to renew any visas for foreign reporters who covered their home countries, sub sub subjecting them to um, retribution by authoritarian regime. Um, PAC also illegally fired the board of the Open Technology Fund, um, which promotes international internet freedom, and replaced them with Republic Hunt activists. Following the whistleblower complaints, the U.S. Office of Special Counsel found a substantial likelihood that Peck had violated the federal and, and, and engaged in gross mismanagement. He was eight months into his three-year term when Biden demanded his resignation shortly after taking the oath of office. In his resignation letter, Peck complained that his termination would be long viewed as a partisan act without any apparent sense of irony. Um, second, Biden sacked Kathleen Kraniger, who was confirmed as director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau in 2018. Craninger, who had no previous experience in consumer protection, immediately she had immediately tried to undermine the agency's role as a watchdog for the financial sector, and she scrapped a landmark rule that restricted pred um, predatory payday lending, pressuring staff to downplay the resulting harm to consumers, and she refused to enforce a federal law that protected military personnel against a broad range of predatory lending. Her decision yanked federal support for military families who were defrauded by lenders, in the midst of the pandemic, um, Kraniger, Kraniger also approved a rule that allows debt collectors to harass Americans with limitless texts and emails defending, um, the demanding the, the repayment. Um, and through the Dodd-Frank Act, Congress gave the CFB, um, PB's, um, direct, the CFPB's um, director significant independence by barring, by barring the, the president from firing her over political disagreements. In 2020, though, the Supreme Court found that this protection was unconstitutional, and Kraniger also supported that decision, which paved the way for her termination on Wednesday. And had the court upheld the agency's independence, Kraniger would have remained in office through the end of 2023. Um, and third, Biden demanded the resignation of Peter Robb, who was confirmed as the National Labor Relations Board General Counsel back in 2017. The, N the, N the NLRB was created to enforce federal laws that guarantee workers the right to form a union and bargain collectively. Um, yet, Robb is vehemently... Um, anti-union basically and during his tenure he tried to limit the employees free speeches by giving by giving the managers more leeway to engage in what they call wage theft hobble unions ability to collect dues and prevent the employers from being from helping the workers organize he also tried to seize the near total control of the agency by demoting every regional director and consolidating power in his office if successful this gambit would have given him unprecedented authority to bust the existing unions and prevent new ones from forming um, Rob's term is set to end in November, but Biden has authority to fire him before then, and it's not yet clear if Rob resigned or if he will force the squatter, or if he will force the president to formally remove him from office. Now, Peck, Kraniger, and Rob are the top of the ice or the tip of the iceberg, and Pumpkin Tit set, set, spent his squadency packing the federal government with Republicans eager to, un, to that were eager to undermine the the, the missions of the agency that they led. But Biden's aggressive action upon taking office should be um, encouraging for progressives, and since it indi and since um, it indicates that the new president will move swiftly to fire any pumpkin tit allies, with what they call high positions in the executive branch, and moreover, Biden should not have much trouble replacing these holdovers with Democrats in control of the Senate. Um, Republicans cannot filibuster nominees to the executive branch. Um, the new the new president undoubtedly faces legislative challenges ahead, but in the meantime, he can rapidly erase the legacy of the pumpkin tit administration by simply replacing pumpkin tit lackeys with qualified civil servants that are eager to do the job right.